create yourself in the new character editor of Star Citizen 3.23, or as a celebrity in the verse, we show you how it works. Because with Alpha 3.23, we also get the extensive character editor, which offers a wide variety of possibilities to realize ourselves. In this video, we show you all the options and possibilities which, especially at the second glance, offer more variety than expected. And of course, we also show you how you can easily import and export characters and also pass them on to others. And finally, some workarounds in the case it doesn't work as it should. At the first start, we have to create a character anyway and either use a pre-made or a random character. Although we have the option to define and create your own characters extensively here as well. Basically, we have the choice between a male and female character. Although we can quite be diverse here. In the upper area, we find five tabs, where we have already decided between male and female for the body type. Subsequently, DNA, hair, styling and the review, where we can also save or accept the whole thing. The most extensive is the DNA section, where we can not only select different texture templates, currently 15 in number, but also seamlessly different skin tones. And here the first tip. First, look for the right face texture, that is, a face with more or less folds and then adjust the skin color as desired, so you also have the face you want. With the sliding rulers below, we can then adjust sunspots and summer sprouts, whereby we can indicate the number and visibility of the summer sprouts or the sunsprouts. And the final touch below offers the eye color, which we can also choose stepwise. But stop, these were not the important settings yet. We can find them quite inconspicuously on the left side, namely directly in the face of our character, because there we can place the mouse on each of the different points in the face, hold with a mouse click and then move with the mouse, whereby we switch through the pre-made different patterns and thus achieve an almost stepless adaption of our character. And after some settings here either go into the width or even depth, you can rotate your character accordingly with the right mouse button to see if your ears are not off or not. But before you make some changes, I would recommend you to first deactivate the hairs, especially for male characters or characters with a let's say significantly increased facial hair, so that you can then have a look at the actual face and head shape. For this, we briefly jump into the area of hair and not only miss a fresh shave, but also a straight bald head for our character. This way, you definitely have a look at the face and head shape and see whether you have a hanging chin or not. Back in the DNA section, we still have another complete area for character adaption. Here, we simply switch to the next level with the blend mode. Here, in turn, there are four standard settings, whereby we can simply adjust the various areas of these settings, so for example the ears, cheeks, nose, eyes and more, with a click and hold and with the slide of the mouse, and this on our already created character. In this way, various fine adjustments can also be made, which would otherwise not be possible. And at this point, the important note, you can still adapt your character every time you log in. So no hurry. In the next row, the hair, we can again choose from pre-made hairstyles and also adapt them quite extensively. And it has already been announced that there will be more different DNA templates, hair and other characteristics. This is just the first step. In the area of hair, we can choose between a head hairstyle, a facial hairstyle and the eyebrows. And further adjustment options are only available here in the area of coloring not in the length or placement of the various settings. But we have a few more options in the area of coloring, in contrast to the standard eye colors on their standard hair color, because here we can work with complete dyes. Basically, we can switch between the head hairstyle, the face hairstyle and the eyebrow via the small brush symbols. And via the DYE routes, we can activate different colors outside of the standard palette. So we can use the tip color to choose whether we want our tips to be colored accordingly 
and via the gradients on the one side the maximum and on the other side to the minimum color. Via the amount slider we have the option to select the color intensity in general and via the various weather every hair should be colored or just some. And with that we have a variety of options. From a really colorful setting to the more realistic representation of say gray hair. If we switch to the facial hairs for example, we can take them directly from our main part in the lower area and simply adjust them again or take on completely new shapes. And of course this also applies to our eyebrows, although we can also use templates that we already have created, either from the head hairstyle or from our beard hairstyle. The last part of the character creation is completed by styling. Although this can also be of importance for male characters, because we don't have to put on a lot of makeup here. Because in the area of styling, we currently have the option to provide our eyes, our lips and our cheeks with makeup. Tattoos are announced but not yet included. Here we not only have the option to give our character a colorful expression, but also the option to let different body parts, so for example the eyes, the mouth or the cheeks, shine in a metallic way even without color. In the example of the lips we see that we cannot only achieve an effect with color. Here we can put a shine or a glow directly on the lips with a metallic finish. If we take out the color, the metallic glow remains on our lips and that works the same with our eyes or our cheekbones. This gives our character something special. And with that we can save our character for now. Yes, we can finally save them. Because the 3.23 finally offers the option to save our character, which we have now generated extensively. Because on the small floppy disk symbol we have the option to think of a name and to import or export the whole thing, which comes with a save. And of course we can also share characters with other players or import from other characters. And for this you should find a special folder in your game directory under Robot Space Industries, Star Citizen and the corresponding version, so PTU or Live for the 3.23 version. And here on the user, zero, a special folder. But it may be that this folder, even if you have saved character, does not currently exist. In such a case, simply create a folder here with the name Custom Characters. And as soon as this folder is created, it also works with saving a character or importing from other characters. And this is the only bug workaround we have with the character editor. And all character files you store here are then also available in the game via your character editor via the import function. And so you can accept the most diverse characters at the start of each game. And here you are not limited to one type. And you can also load the female character and to do this before each game starts, without having to buy new items or a new equipment or you lose progress. And who wouldn't like to fly through the verse like Einstein or Disco Lando? And you can already find various templates on a free site for exchange of Star Citizen characters. This way you can upload your own characters or use others and thus complete your collection. On the free site StarCitizenCharacters.com you will find countless characters compiled by fans and uploaded it, which you can download for free and this optionally without an account or input of personal data. And in the same way you can of course share your best of creations. And of course you can also find the link in the video description for the site. And finally once again the note that you can change your character at any time. You can go to the character editor at every new game start and select another preset or adjust your already existing character. The scariest creations I've found so far I kept for you on purpose. So the new character editor is really too powerful. But what is your opinion on the current character editor? It is sufficient or do you still lack options? I'm curious in the comments, in the discord or in our almost daily twitch livestreams. I say goodbye, until next time and see you in the verse. Thanks for watching.